Hi there, this is Kira Leslie with DebunkingAddictionForHealthyPlace.com and today I want to talk about the difference between powder cocaine and crack cocaine. Um, full disclosure, I do not have personal experience with either of these drugs. Um, it came, my, my interest in the topic came about because um, in a history class that I'm, I'm taking, we were discussing the 1986 anti-drug abuse law that was part of the war on drugs under the Reagan administration and um, this particular law has been very controversial for a long time and one of the major reasons for that controversy is the vast disparity between the sentencing for um, possession of crack cocaine and versus possession of powder cocaine. At the time in 1986 um, it was a 100 to 1 disparity meaning that in order to invoke mandatory minimum sentencing laws, you needed to have 5 grams of crack cocaine. But in order to invoke mandatory minimum sentencing for powder cocaine, you need 500. In, and um, this was controversial because a lot of people saw it as targeting African American communities. In 2010, the law was, the disparity was lessened a little bit, but it's, there's still a disparity of um, 18 to 1 instead of 100 to 1. So I was wondering what the difference is between crack cocaine and powder cocaine because I've never been quite sure about it. And um, basically, without getting t too much into the chemistry of it, the only difference between the two is that Crack cocaine is cocaine that has had um, an additive to it, which is usually baking soda, um, in order to make the melting point higher so that it can be smoked. So chemically, they're almost exactly identical. They do the same thing to your body, but the difference is in how they're taken. So powder cocaine is normally snorted, although it can be injected, but it cannot be smoked. And crack cocaine... Um, is usually smoked. So there's a lot of controversy around as well and debate around whether or not the route of administration makes one more addictive than the other. There's been a lot of rhetoric for years um, about the idea that crack cocaine is instantly addictive and whatnot. Well, there's a lot of studies out uh, over the last 20 or 30 years to say that that is not really the case. Um, certainly both drugs are addictive. But I was actually very surprised to find, because I didn't know, having you know been a product of this society that sort of treats the two things as different entities, that the only major difference between them is, is how they are taken. And so um, as a result of how they are ingested, that also means that crack cocaine hits the user a little bit faster um, and the high is a little shorter. And um, with powder cocaine, it takes a little longer to hit the user and the high lasts a little bit longer. Um, but if anyone has experience on this and they would like to weigh in, um, whether they have used both and they think that there, there really is a difference or whether it's all the same, um, I would love to hear people's opinions on it. And that's all for me today.